So, um, Callum, do you have a uh, life pondering question? Uh, I think I do. <laughs> bit bear with. Talk about your favourite brand of apples while we were. Um, Granny Smith. I'll go, I'll agree. Yeah, pink lady. Really good, pink lady. Oh, you found the reds. Yeah, I love the reds more than the greens. I like the sours. I just like hmm. apples. I like, I like apple. I'm the one for apples. Right then. Okay. Oh, Callum has a pondering question. Oh. I don't have a question. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, Sam, do you want to do yours? I know you've got a question that you can take over place today. Uh, ooh, all right. Um, so yeah, um, I had a, I was having a conversation with Callum a couple of days ago, um, where I was suggesting life pondering questions to him, and uh, oddly enough, the day that I off, I suggested one to him, he actually discovered his answer, and that is the question of worst public transport stories. Yeah, it was quite an odd one. Because uh, me and Sam both... Well, Sam sent a message saying, I've got an idea for this week's episode, and it's about worst public transport story. And I literally just finished writing a little piece on public transport and how much I hate it. <laughs> and this is uh, this was whilst I was on the train. It was to set the scene for you. It was the busiest train I've ever seen, ever been on. There was people stood up everywhere. I had my arse in the face of a gentleman. <laughs> there was a gentleman... With his ass in my face and so on, like a human centipede almost. <laughs> there was a crying child. Oh, it was oh. crying child sat there eating like ham, just being a little <laughs> bitch. Oh, so God. I'll take you straight to the mind of Callum Simpson on the first of November, twenty nineteen, at thirty-three minutes past six on public transport. Why the fuck are people horrific on public transport? Have a fucking sense of perspective. Crying bastard children. The mothers don't give a fuck. The couple stood opposite that you look at, exchanging looks of how much of a bastard the bastard kid is, then become the enemy once the child leaves, because they're giving public displays of affection at a fucking packed train, and that should be bottom of your agenda, you absolute wrong-uns. Why would you be sat on a train where people are too close than you've ever had other people close to you in your life, and then you feel the need to stick your tongue down your boyfriend's throat? It's just... just fuck off! <laughs> so that was it, yeah? So it was the Westboro Baptist Church last week, and now it's just... <laughs> Now it's just everybody. Horny gets... couples on public transport and crying bitchy children. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Brad, do you want to get into yours?